Castile has started influencing nation. They're influencing nation on us. Ooh, but we get power. I like that. Which one? Yes. Thank you, Castile. I love you. I love you, Castile. Hello everyone, my name is Celtic Jerry, and welcome to episode 3, playing as Scotland in EU4, going after the Ald Alliance Reversed, where, if you remember, I'm expected to eventually have France as a vassal. We'll see how long that takes. Anyways, um, last episode, I left you on a bit of a clamp, cl clamp, I left you on a bit of a clamp hanger. <laughs> I left you on a bit of a cliffhanger on what I was going to ask the wife of Tommen's king to give us. And after a bit of deliberation, I think the best thing would be diplomatic power. So I'm going to ask for diplomatic aid because I don't want to get behind on Diplotech. Now... In the meantime, I've got my army going... What? Don't do that. Just go over here. Go to the capital. Um... Castile has started influencing nation... They're influencing nation on us? Ooh, but we get power. I like that. Which one? Yes, thank you, Castile. I love you. I love you, Castile. Oh, hey, look! They didn't actually lose to... Did you take one pro... Uh, two provinces, right? Yeah, you, you took two provinces? Look at how large you are, Castile. You could have taken the whole country. Are you at a war right now? No. Portugal's at war. With Morocco, Tafalot, Seuss, and Marrakesh. They're not doing so hot. Ooh, what's this? Innovativeness is... Hmm. I mean, I have zero anyways. I don't think you can go negative. Oh, actually, I don't have zero. I have 0 0.09. Yeah, I'm not going to have a lot of innovativeness. Innovativeness for a while. Now, I have 10 troops here. Um, what I'm going to do is now that I'm... I'm just going to pump that all the way down. I'm going to put that down to half. So I can actually gain some money. Um, oop. Broken promises. Ah. When we married our Euphemia to the Tamandian king, we thought a strong bond had been formed between our countries. While we would never dishonor our part in this deal, apparently King Turlo IV holds no such qualms. Euphemia's letter of response reached us today. Not only did King Turlo refuse our request, he also had the nerve to reproach us for our outrageous demands. Ooh, Tomond. You're being a naughty little fast. Oh, oh, that sounds weird. I'm not going to continue that. But come on, Tommond. Really? Really, bro? That sucks. Oh, well. Anyways, um, I would like to... Oh, I don't have any manpower. That's going to be an issue. How much manpower do I need? I need, if you'd tell me how much I need, that would be nice. I assume I need a thousand. Huh. Uh, disputed succession, Burgundy, Milan, Platinet, Bohemia, Serbia. Burgundy declared war upon England. Really? Who's in that war? Burgundy versus ooh England versus Burgundy, Nevers, Brabant, Flanders and Holland which are all theirs. Uh Burgundy has accepted an offer to hire an army from France. Oh. See, that's why you should have just taken the war to start. Ooh, you don't have a truce anymore. 
Although, I don't think you can go to war with someone if you're hiring mercenaries to their... Enemy? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone who knows this game? I, I think that's how it works, but I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, something trending on r slash vexillology. That's nice. Anyways. Um. Whew. I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. Maybe watch them? See what they do? Oh, I can't even watch them. Oh, they've, ooh, they've already taken Ko. They're going after Calais. Did you know there's a tunnel from Calais to Kent? Like, I in real life. Like, now. There's like a... What is it? It's the... The channel tunnel or something? Like, that is so cool. Screw you, Norway. Anyways, but that is so cool that there's literally, like, a tunnel under there that you can, like, take your... I think you take a train or a trolley under, I want to say. But yeah, that is so cool. Like, look up the channel... Tr the channel tunnel. That is really cool. Eh, can I do any of this? Uh, no. Uh, truce will expire, Ulster and Thomond. Yes, now I can declare war on my vassals soon. Like, that's something I want to do. It's not even soon. Um, are you even an... Huh. Wave of Obscurantism. Researchers have published several works with radical theses that could prove destabilizing if widely disseminated. Should we opt for the easy path of obscuritism and suppress this knowledge, or would it be better not to stand in the way of progress? Okay, I can go national unrest, lose 10 prestige, or lose 5 admin points. Oh god, that's nothing. Yeah, I'll take the admin points. And I also just realized, I think I need to actually... Give them some maintenance if I want them to reinforce, right? Let's see. Oh, profiteering in Loch Awe. Is that a province? Because that's Lake something, isn't it? Huh. Anyways, the citizens of Loch Awe have grown tired. Oh, does it actually say? Uh, Argyll, okay. Um, protect our trade, tier canal. Or, yeah, I'm going to take that. Um, Sligo has 36 opinion of us. Kildare, you're good. Ormond, you're good. Desmond, you're good. Donegal, or phew, Tyrconnell, you're good. Okay. Because I really would like to not have... You just really aren't reinforcing, aren't you? Are you? Oh, now you are. Okay. The Emperor has enacted a reform. Ooh. That's nice. I mean, it's the HRE, so, you know, no one likes the HRE. But that's nice for you. When could I annex my vassal? Ooh. Just need to improve relations. Ah, uh, we have been informed that a diplomat from Sweden has been... <sighs> guys. Guys. There's only so much of me that can go along around, ladies. What is it? Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Holstein, England? Uh, I want to say... I, I want to say someone in there did, too. I'll have to go back and look. But, like, seriously, come on, people. You don't need to have... It, you, you can go after other people, you know? I don't even remember what I was doing. Yes, I do. Um, the Isles, I want you to scootage. Pay an additional money, but they will no longer be called dwarves. And is there anything I can do that would make them happy? No. Except for... You know, come on, click on their map. There we go. Did I start? Yes. Okay. Now I just need to make them happy. And I can eventually annex them. And I'm, yeah, I, I need a 
Oh my god, as I was talking about that. I'm going to turn my maintenance up a bit more to about half a ducat. There we go. Because I really want you guys to start getting stuff. And, you know, after I... Hmm. Extension on the monopolies on textiles. Yeah. Extension of the monopoly. Extension of the mo... The mo my, 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 The monopoly. <laughs> Uh, I want you there and you there. Ah, England building a spy network. Jesus, everyone is building a spy network. How are you doing in your war? Negative 36. You've got all of your continental provinces sieged. Ooh, that's fun. Ah, okay, you come there. I don't know why I paused to do that gonna do that Ooh, I can build another boat oh my god I'm gonna be back up to 10 you can enact a government reform Ooh. okay what do I want to do noble privileges I can strengthen noble privileges national manpower plus 15% that would be helpful or curtail them for national tax plus 10% and they get less influence I'm going to take the manpower. Manpower is really, really nice. Because that means I have soldiers. <laughs> and every nation needs soldiers. Well, unless you're like Monaco or something. Does Monaco have an army? I, I'll have to look that up. I wonder if Monaco has an army. Where was I going? Oh, well, invest in a new technology. Now I can have temples. From admin tech. Yeah, admin tech. Ah, now I can have temples. Go to here. Uh, yeah, you can stay there. Um, I'm going to start moving you guys uh, over there. Because I've got another war coming. Oh, actually, there. Now, these guys are allied with Denmark, so I can't attack them. Uh, Lucca has accepted offer from Austria to become a free city. That's nice. But yeah, Tyrkanel is allied to Denmark, so I can't declare war on them because Denmark. But they're allied to Desmond, who's only allied to Tyrkanel, so I can give Desmond to Tommen, give Tyrkanel to Ulster, or I guess give Cork to Tommen and give Donegal to Ulster, but you know what I mean. Trent has become an ele Trent has become an elector? Who lost mm, excuse me. Who lost the electorship? Huh. Norway building a spy network. Guys, guys, ladies, ladies. Like I said, there's only so much of me to go around. 176. Ah, come on, Ulster. Is now obsessive perfectionist. Construction cost plus 10%. That's not nice. Oh, if I give you a gift. 25 ducats. Yeah, that improves a uh, Do I really want to lose that money, though? Nah, I'm just going to wait. I can wait. Italian engineer available. A siege engineer. And bleh. I can't talk. A siege engineer from Bologna, Leonardo Angel Angelelli, has arrived at our court, offering his services to the king. He claims to be well-versed in the art of building the formidable Italian bastion fort, the Trace Italienne, which our military theorists have been desperate to emulate. However, his services will not come cheaply. Is, is that the one that had the sloped walls that was so good against cannons? Ah... Uh. I might just be pulling something out of my rear. Uh, hire him, gain 40 military power, lose 17 ducats, or lose 5 prestige. Well, I mean, I'll do that. Lose some ducats, gain some military power, and not hire the advisor. Oh, did not mean to click that. Because I cannot afford another advisor. I can hardly afford the one I have. 
Mm, you are almost up. How is my uh, France influencing foi? Uh, okay. Uh, Sweden. Naive relative. A close member of our family of our ruler has proven utterly naive and keeps telling foreigners vital information publicly. This is technically treason, but executing a member of the royalty might cause unrest. Yeah, generally, I, I have found in life that killing family members doesn't make people happy. So... No, I need the spy detection. I've been detecting all the spies. Oh, but I do need the prestige. Okay, maybe I don't want to detect, detect so many spies. M maybe I can just live with the fact. You know, ignorance is bliss, you know? I'm going to turn this up. Ooh. Ah, importing naval supplies. Ambitions to improve our naval... Our naval's nation, yeah. Our nation's navy has recently come to a halt. The Scottish shipbuilders don't lack ideas or plans, but supplies. Some of them cannot help but notice they claim that our neighbor has an abundance of materials that would be useful in equipping a modern navy. We try not to make our fleet dependent on foreign support, but if these policies stand in the way of progress, perhaps we should import just enough to test the new shipbuilding techniques. We can compromise if it puts some plans in motion. Sixty Diplo, Norway goes up, or two mercantilism. I'll take the Diplo. I went way down on admin. Probably from wars. Okay, ooh, okay, this is, this is finally getting somewhere exciting. First of all, I'm, yeah. I'm a bit, oh, neighbor bonus. I'm gonna take that. Who's your ruler? Still zero, zero, zero. What tech are you? Oh my god, he's still on three and I'm on five. Um. Now, superior unit types. That was the infantry, right? Uh, Galagle, longbow, men at arms. I'm gonna take you. And no, those were not. Okay, so they lost a bit of morale because, you know, you gave them new equipment. They got to learn the new equipment. And now do that. And what was I going to do? Oh, yes. Yes. Annex Vassal. Uh, oh, est total cost of 24. 24. Um, March of 57, so a bit less than a year. Confirm. Oh, that's going to be so nice to finally have that yellow. Are you... Can you just not? You have a soldier somewhere, don't you? Don't you? Oh. You have 11,000 manpower. You can... You have 11,000 manpower, but you don't have a single soldier. Oh, okay. Whatever. Um, ooh, my money went down a bit. Oh, well. Well, want to see it go down a lot? No, that's not even that lot. France declared war on England. Ooh, I really should jump on England real quick. I'll jump on them towards the end of their war. I'm going to take a loan. And I'm going to wait for your guys' morale to go up. But yeah, that's nice. Ooh, look at that ship battle. Look at that ship battle. Oh my god, are the French actually gonna... Nope. France is no longer renting to Burgundy. Oh, that's what happens. You just have it recalled. Okay. And pause. Declare war. Take cork. Tyrconnell will come in. You better come in. Yep, they came in immediately. And go! We're gonna kill someone this episode. I gotta kill a, I gotta kill someone every episode, you know? Killing people. It's fun. Oh god, don't quote me. Am I at war with them? No. Desmond is. No. Oh, that's Ulster. <laughs> I'm stupid. I have already integrated the Isles. Okay. Oh, and look at that. Mission fulfilled. Revoke the Isles. 
own those cores. Clan MacDonald, Lord of the Isles, <laughs> have much influence among the Highland clans. Having already risen up in revolt several times in recent history, it is only a matter of time until they once again rally the Highlanders to resist Scottish rule. What's more, there are whispers of conspiracy with the English to divide our realm between the MacDonalds and the English king. Clearly, the MacDonalds are too dangerous to remain as rulers of the Isles. Gain a base pan power. Eh, that is helpful. Get manpower. And I can make it a state. Which would be nice. Um, I don't need those, and you didn't have an army to give me. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here on this fort and hope I don't lose too many troops, because Jesus, that was not fun trying to get them. Oh, hey, look, you're actually see. Ooh, ooh, that's gonna put you too small. Ports are blockaded. Okay, countries at war. I can repay, or I have loans. I'll repay it after. Ah, why did I forget? Oh, I wonder if y'all can hear the phone ringing in the background. Gonna raise those war taxes so I can get a little bit more money while I'm at war. Truce expired, or truce with Tommond has ended. Oh, great, now I can declare war on Tommond. I know, I know. Actually, doesn't that mean now they can declare independence, technically? Siena became a free city. Two of a kind. Ooh. No other queen consort is as brave as our Isabel. Military taxes and organization have always been of great interest to her. In addition to her daily sword practice, I wish, she spends many hours each day studying the art of war. During the last few months, she has become better acquainted to acquainted yes better acquainted with one of our most respected com commandants and he in turn has taken our queen consort under his wing teaching isabel everything she wishes to know now she has asked us to make the commandant an officer claiming that he would make a much better advisor than him uh she has a point uh Becomes an advisor at court, gain a skill to commander of Castilian heritage, following Catholic faith. Uh, discipline. Or I can keep that and get 50 mil power. I really, really don't need a skill two. I can't afford a skill two, so I'm going to take the mill power. And unpause. And should I go help? Maybe I should. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. If you're doing it fast enough, I guess I just won't. Uh, Denmark has been discovered when building a spy network. I wonder. Could I already... Okay, here. Let me switch occupation to Ulster... A new champion of the joust. During a recent jousting tournament, an unheralded commoner surprised all in attendance by besting everyone who faced him until he was declared the champion. Now we face the awkward decision of what to do with him. Oh, what was that movie? A Knight's Tale. Oh god, that was such a good movie with Heath Ledger as the knight, Sol Sir Ulrich. Gain general with a hundred tradition, lose 25 prestige and legitimacy, or Gain 20... Uh, I don't want to lose that much prestige and legitimacy. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, Peace officer from Tear Canal. No. Okay, so it's occupied by Ulster. Sue for peace. Do that. Give us all your money. Is that all your money? No. Weird. That was, that was really weird. Okay. Oh, mission fulfilled. Ah, into Ireland. Ulster has always been a tempting target, but until recently, too closely watched by the English king. With England distracted, perhaps now would be a good opportunity to venture an army into Ireland. Uh, I've been venturing armies into Ireland for like... 10, 14 years now, dude. Okay. And now I just... Oof. Gain a bunch of Cassis bellies. Or a bunch of claims. <laughs> oh, hope you didn't hear that bump. That hurt. Don't know why they call it the funny bone. Anyways, come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. 
<sighs> there are reports of farmers and miners being more productive than local bailiffs expect them to be. We should investigate if there's something that the entire nation of Scotland can benefit from. Gain some inflation and admin power. Gain 10 admin power. Or gain a bunch of inflation and a bunch of admin power. I can take some inflation. Can't hurt. You know, someone's going to tell me that was actually a really bad decision. And I wouldn't be surprised. Come on, let's end the episode with you winning. Yes, Rothberg. Buddy. Come on. I love you. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, guess that. Uh, let's end the war. Cork. Take all their money. And look at that. I have all of Ireland except for one, two, three, four provinces and England. Hate you, England. And with that, this is the end of this third episode. Have a nice day, everyone.